Hello and a very warm welcome to the Tarot and Oracle Card Review. Here I am today reviewing the deck Goddess Inspiration Oracle by Chris Warder and I believe she's the illustrator. This is a deck of cards, 80 cards I believe, uh, which are all dedicated to wonderful goddesses from around the world. So as you look through the cards you'll find that there are goddesses from India, Japan, Europe, America. So it's 80 cards. The cards are this size. And as you can see, there's a beautiful deck picture on the back. And we'll talk about the cards in a moment. It comes with a, a beautiful little bag where you can keep your cards, golden bag, which is really a nice touch. Um, and it comes with this amazing booklet, <clears throat> which is full of information. It is in three parts. The first part talks about the deck, how they came about. The second part is all about the goddesses. They are in alphabetical order, which makes life very, very easy. And at the end, there's an information about the, the author, the illustrator, and other booklets you could use to <clears throat> find more information about. Now, when you look at the information, it's all about goddess. She also does show a spread, but you can use these cards as an individual card for pulling a card a day, or you could do a reading, a three card reading or a four card reading, whatever you wish to choose. When you choose a card, you go to the place and you will see that each card has its name. This is Anapolia. It tells you it's the she is the goddess of harvest. There are three words. Each card has three special words. So this one is nourishment, generosity, and harvest. And then she explains that this is a Hindu goddess. And at the end, there is a beautiful uh, affirmation: "A harvest awaits you. Enjoy it." So I love this little deck. Now let's look at some of the cards individually. So this is one here. We have. Baba Yoga. So it has the name, it has an image, and underneath it has the saying, Baba Yoga, do not fear life's changes, no matter how scary they seem. And it's the goddess of change, so Baba Yoga. So you can just look at the card, meditate with the card, meditate with the words, think about the words you can have this card on the side and look at it all day long or you can carry with it it with you because it's quite a good size like you can meditate on the image meditate on the do not fear life's changes no matter how scary they seem otherwise you can go to the book so we will go to the book now baba yoga and as i said it is in alphabetical order so you would look it up and there is the deeper meaning she says goddess of change life cycle, strength, old age. So these would be the words you'd be clinking. And then it would be talking about who Baba Yoga is. And then, as I said, the word Baba means old woman. So it's about age and change and life cycles, this card. But what you could also do if you didn't want to choose a card a day, you could just get hold of the book and just flip through it and see where it falls open and then use that as card for the day. I just love this. I love the exclamation of all these goddesses. And there's so many here that so many I've never even heard of. And then when I look through them, I suddenly go, oh, wow, I connect with this one and I connect with that one. I love this deck. If you like to connect with the goddess within and learn from the goddess teachings, this is an amazing deck. You can use it in so many different ways. I just love it. So my recommendation is this. I do recommend it and I give it eight out of 10. I love the deck. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Take care. Namaste. Bye.